All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bull Drek Reviews. My name is Bull, and I'm reviewing. All right, uh, let's. I'm going to cut right to it because I want to keep these nice, short, and sweet. I got this in a trade the other day, yesterday actually, um, and this is the Joe Fixit wave for Marvel Legends. This wave is a mixed bag for me, but I really wanted the Joe Fixit uh, build a figure, so. That was the big reason I wanted to get it. Unfortunately, the figures in the wave are kind of hit and miss. Like I said, I, about three of them I really like. Three of them I'm kind of eh on. The three I really like, there is Marvel's Kang. And Kang is a fantastic figure. Uh, he's an all-new sculpt. He looks really good. Very comic accurate. Comes with his nice big gun. A couple extra hands. Uh, and then he comes with one of Joe Fix-It's legs. Really great figure, one of my favorites. Uh, another one I really liked was Thunderstrike. Uh, Thunderstrike was a character that ended up with the power of Thor and sort of replaced Thor for a while in the comics back in the, like, early 90s, I think. Late, late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in there. Uh, I remember really liking the character. I just kind of like his look quite a bit. Uh, I'm not entirely a fan of the screaming face he's got going on. Let's see if we can get it to... Sorry about the glare from my overhead light. I still don't have a good light situation set up. Um, he's got that... I don't, I don't particularly care for the face, but it's still not bad. But I love the just the overall design. He's like Thor, but he's kind of like... I don't know, he's like Worker Man Thor. You know, he's got the, the leather vest, and he's got the, the big leather boots... He's just a cool character. He's got uh, this hammer he comes with. He's got an extra hand. And he comes with Joe Fix-It's head. Now, the other figure I really like out of this wave is Falcon. This is a really nice Falcon. It's not the original uh, Falcon, but it's a good... The original Falcon's a little goofy-looking. Very, like, late 60s, early 70s with that, like... He had, like, a super V-neck look to him that exposed most of his chest. And it was really, like I said, really kind of... Disco era, almost. Uh, so this is kind of a little more modern interpretation, but it's really good. Um, he's got the wings that attach to his back, a couple extra hands. My only complaint is that he doesn't come with Red Wing, his Falcon. I would have really liked to get a Red Wing with this version, but we didn't. But he's still a good figure. Uh, we got Iron Man. This is the Atmosphere Armor Iron Man. Apparently it's from the Gamerverse, from the uh, from the Marvel... I'm guessing from the Marvel uh, video game. I haven't played it yet. Uh, I didn't really... This is actually the second version of this. They did a Marvel Gamerverse version that's white. And I apologize for the camera shake. Uh, this table is also not the steadiest. Um, cheap plastic. Uh... They did a version that was, like, white with a little bit of gold that I didn't really like, so I didn't really think I was going to like it. The blue and gray actually looks really good. Uh, but still, for, for an Iron Man character, I prefer his his more classic looks, either the red or gold, or my preferred armor is his Silver Centurion armor uh, that they actually just did as a Walgreens release not too long ago. I really like that version. That's my favorite Iron Man. That's the Iron Man I read when I was a kid reading West Coast Avengers and, uh, and Avengers and all those comics with him. So, that's my favorite. This one's not great, although I do really like that it comes with a Tony Stark head. So that's really cool. That's a nice option. A couple extra hands. comes with uh, one of Joe Fix's arms. And then the two figures. Uh, I, the one figure... She's actually a really nice figure. I've just never been a fan of Jocasta. Uh, android character that was in the, in the, in the adventures off and on, um, built by Ultron, I think. There's probably a thing on the back that tells a little bit about it, but, um, yeah, she's, she's an AI android character that pops in and out. Um, I don't know, just for some reason, she's never really, like, resonated with me at all, um, which is weird because I usually like robot characters. Um, but yeah, she's kind of, eh. Uh, but she came with the torso, so I had to get her for the set. And she's, like I said, she's a really good figure, so if anybody's a fan of the character, she's a great figure for that. She just was kind of, for me, it was more of just a matter of, it's not that it's a bad figure, it's just that I'm not a fan. 
All right, let me kind of, we got one more. Let me kind of get these out of the way a little bit. And then the final figure is the Stealth Suit Captain America. Uh, this is also the second Gamerverse character uh, figure, and they also released a Gamerverse version that was him with more of a a blue uh, version of the suit. And this one's kind of this really dark blue, black. Actually, yeah, it's just straight up black and black and gray and silver. It's actually a really good look. Just not for. I'm just not a fan of this Captain America. Um, I'm actually probably going to do a little tweaking on this. Um, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can do something with that star because I actually really want to do a um, and see if I can get. I'm, I, I want to try to see if I can get a custom head and turn this into a cobra, um, a cobra character. Because I think, like I said, you take that star off and maybe put a cobra emblem on there, right, on there, and he would make for a good uh, cobra trooper or some type. Either way, he's got a shield, got a couple extra hands, and he comes with the other Joe Fixit arm. So this is, like I said, it's a fairly solid wave. For me, it was kind of, eh, uh, just mainly because, you know, Jocasta was kind of, I'm not going to, I'm not going to mind adding her to the collection, but she's not a, you know, like I said, not a huge fan. Captain America is really the dud of the whole lot, but I have plans for him. So depending on if I can ever, you know, get around to actually doing any customizing, that'll be a good one for him. The Iron Man, like I said, I ended up liking this more than I thought. He's still, you know, a 6 out of 10. Not a great, you know, one. I would not have picked him up if it wasn't for the fact that... I probably wouldn't have picked up any of those three if it wasn't for the fact that came with the uh, Joe Fix-It stuff. Kang, definite huge... Uh, I'd say he's an 8 or 9 out of 10 for me. Um, mainly because also Kang's one of those ones. I'm weird. I was never a really huge, huge Avengers fan. Um, I was always Spidey. I read a lot of X-Men back in the day. I'm not as big an X-Men fan anymore. Avengers was always kind of like, eh, it's cool. There's some really neat stuff. And I was really into West Coast Avengers for a while. But the main Avengers never read a whole lot. So Kang's kind of great figure. I do like the character, but he's not a favorite character of mine. Thunderstrike, 10 out of 10. He was, he was, he was the figure I was most excited about in this entire wave. And Falcon, 9 out of 10. Great figure. T would have been a 10 out of 10 if it had come with the... Uh, the bird. All right. Well, that's it for that. That was a, a well, quickie, quickie review. I will probably do a second review once I get these guys open, just to do a quickie review of the Joe Fix It, and I'm actually going to compare him to the um, Toy Biz Joe Fix It that they released ages and ages ago, which is also a fantastic figure. Although he's got some of the issues that Toy Biz tended to have with too many joints that tended to get too loose. So that'll be coming up, but thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the notification. I don't know. There's all that stuff you're supposed to say when you do these videos. I'm kind of eh. Uh, check out the description below. Uh, I have a Patreon. Um, Patreon will help me do more of this type of stuff. Uh, so please go in there and sign up. I do, uh, I do a lot of fiction. I do some gaming material. Uh, I'm doing these videos every now and then. And I'm going to try to do a lot more of these in the near future. So check out my Patreon. Sign up, please. Be, become a supporter. I would love you forever. And anyways, till next time, take it easy. And hopefully I'll have a better setup soon.